friends and welcome back. I am back in the kitchen today for another delicious recipe. These ones are old fashioned uh, date pinwheel cookies. It's a mouthful, I know. But this was actually my great grandmother's recipe when she owned a bakery, she would make these and sell them. So it's such an honor for me to share them with you. I was a little bit iffy on if I wanted to share a family recipe on this channel. Um, but my mom reminded me that not doing anything for anyone, just sitting in a cookbook somewhere. And I think if it has the potential to bring people joy um, and make them happy and share it with others, then I think that's what she would have wanted. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make the dough and then we're gonna make the filling and then we're gonna put it all together. Let's get into it. So we're gonna first add a stick of softened butter, a half cup of white sugar, and a half cup of packed brown sugar. And we'll just cream together these three ingredients. Then we can go ahead and add our egg and our one teaspoon of vanilla. So next we'll just mix together our dry ingredients. I've just added the salt and the baking soda and just give this a good mix so that all of the dry ingredients distribute evenly when we add them to the batter. So onto a floured cutting board, we can just dump out our mixture and we're gonna want to begin to mold this so that we can begin to roll it out into an oblong shape onto our cutting board. And once it's all rolled out, we can set it aside while we make our date filling. Okay, so here I've just measured out, using this little food scale, a half a pound of dried dates. And if we just put them in the measuring cup, it looks like it's going to be about one and three quarters cups of dried dates. If you have a food scale, that's ideal, but you can kind of eyeball it, about a cup and three quarters. So we can just begin by adding one third of the cup of water onto our dates. And we're just gonna pop this in the microwave so that the dates have a chance to soak up some of the water and heat so that we can easily mix them. And then we'll chop up some of our nuts and begin blending our dates together until they're finely ground. Then we can just transfer the mixture into a bowl and add in our sugar, our nuts. I'm just using pecans here, but walnuts also work great. And our two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then coming back to our dough, we can just spread a thin layer of our date mixture onto the dough. And we're gonna cut the dough right in half. And we'll make two separate jelly rolls. So here, as you can see, as I'm rolling it, I'm just trying to patch up any cracks that are in the dough. And if your dough is particularly sticky, you can also add flour. And then I'm just sealing the ends and we're gonna chill it for two hours. So before we take out our jelly rolls, I'm just preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And then we can just begin to cut the jelly rolls into thin slices and form our cookie. Then 
then we'll just put these in the oven for 11 to 12 minutes and we'll want to take these out when they look golden on top and I would lean on the side of undercooking these because they do tend to solidify a bit as they cool. So that just about wraps up today's video. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for your time. Uh, if you like this kind of video, feel free to leave a like down below. It really helps um, to support this channel and it helps me gauge what people want to see. So I really appreciate that. And I will also leave a whole written out version of the recipe down in the description box below. So definitely check that out. And other than that, have a wonderful day and Ellen signing off. Bye.